Some parents did get a call from their child's school, though what they were being told wasn't what they hoped to hear. Wave News troubleshooter Natalia Martinez got her hands on one of those messages in an internal memo, and she joins us with an investigative look behind the chaos. The mom I met today told me if she would have put her child on the bus today, she wouldn't have gotten, he wouldn't have gotten to the bus stop until bedtime. This mom, like many others Friday, was hoping the second first day of school would be smoother. Last time, her five-year-old was three hours late to the bus stop. Her hope vanished, though, after she got a voicemail from her son's school Thursday. Hello, Ms. This is me over at an academy. They let her know the school didn't have an exact time for when her son would get to the stop. The school trying to do what it could to at least warn her it wouldn't be until the evening. We were just informed that this bus will not show up to the school to pick up these children until 7 p.m., um, leaving them getting home very late. Well, they're telling us on the media that everything's being handled and then you get a call from the school saying that it's not handled. I mean, it's just confusing and it's terrible. And here's something else that JCPS didn't give to the media, though we got a copy. A letter to bus drivers with the protocol if a child's parent isn't at the stop. It tells them to continue with their route and drop the kid off at their next school. For example, it states a kid from Smyrna could end up at Fern Creek. From there, it's a series of coordinating phone calls. The child is to wait at the receiving school until their own school arrives to resolve the transportation issue. It also lays out a goal of clearing the bus compounds by 7, 10 p.m. If that seemed like a lot to follow, we have the letter posted with this story on way3.com. I think it's an absolute mess. It's sad. Uh, my son wanted to go to school, and now he just has no interest, you know? I mean, it's, it's sad. Our kids are supposed to be in school learning, and they can't even get there. But wait, there's more. We've gotten several reports of schools letting kids out of class early, up to 40 minutes, one person told me, to get them on the buses. When we asked the district, they said no. This is their response verbatim we got not too long ago. They said there was no directive to leave school early. Elementary schools were encouraged, as always, during the first couple of weeks of school to practice lining up and boarding. We're still on this. Natalia Martinez, Wave News.